right, uh, today I'm going to do a uh, raw file edit of the week. This is from the Fro Knows Photo website, and they do this really cool, fun, interactive challenge, and it is to edit this raw file. So somebody supplies a raw file, and then uh, Jared and Greg do their edits, and then they make it available for uh, the forum community to download and try out as well. So it's a super cool uh, little activity, so I'm going to do it. So I downloaded the file, I have it brought into Aperture, and uh, let's take a quick look at uh, this file, get some stats. This was taken with a Canon Rebel T2i, uh, an EF24 to 70 f2.8L lens at ISO 465 millimeters and 1.33 exposure value compensation up. So that's uh, adjusting the exposure to make it more bright. Uh, f2.8 and at 1 60th of a second. So there you have it, okay. So let's uh, jump right into some of the adjustments. Uh, first thing I like to do uh, whenever I do an image is I take advantage of the raw fine tuning uh, stuff that's available here in Aperture. And I always like to kind of uh, adjust the sharpening stuff so I can crank that up a wee bit, uh, adjust the sharpening up a little bit to help bring out those edges. And uh, the next brick in the list here is a white balance one for your color temperature. and I don't think there's anything wrong with this file at all when it comes to uh, the color or the white balance, so I'm not going to bugger all of that. I always like to uh, check out the exposure here, and Aperture gives you the exposure, recovery, black point, and brightness. Uh, one of the cool things with Aperture is you can click uh, your uh, command button, and then if you click the slider, it gives you an overlay of, uh, of what's, what's ex overexposed or underexposed in the image, uh, what's kind of too hot or whatever. Another thing you can do is uh, with the command stroke here, you can go and put on uh, this mask that shows you where the blown out areas are. And you can see that in the histogram here too, how it kind of is blown out. So what I like to do is I grab the old exposure thing and I just drop that right back down until it's just about gone. And then I use a little bit of recovery to kind of take out the rest of those highlights and clean that up and and uh, and tame those wild ponies, bring them back in. Okay, uh, once that is done, then what I will do is uh, I'll sneak on down here to contrast, and I will pump that up and make it go boom, as they say on the Photos Photo Show. Uh, a little bit of definition too, just to bring out some of those things. Uh, vibrancy, I really like color and saturation, so let's bring that up. Uh, that looks a bit too much, so we'll scale that back down a little bit, but it's nice to have color. Uh, what else can we do here? I think we can uh, zoom in, we can use the old uh, tone curve if we wanted to do that, and kind of bring that down a wee bit. And, uh, and if we grab that and kind of bring that back up, it should help uh, brighten up this overall image. But yeah, about somewhere in there looks pretty good. Uh, the histogram in my mind looks pretty good. Um, I don't think I'm going to mess around with the levels too much. So uh, what else can we do here? I think one of the coolest things about Aperture is the ability to use uh, uh, Aperture's brushes to kind of do uh, selective uh, adjustments. And so it's super cool to grab the, uh, the satur or the sharpen one here. And this is what I do with all of my portraits is uh, if I always want to make the eyes pop because the eyes, uh, they have the image. So what I do is I'll just grab my sharpen thing, a little bit of softness in the uh, settings there, and I'll just what I'll do is I'll just kind of go right around the outside edge of the eye to kind of bring out those eyelashes, and then what I'll usually do is just that edge around the uh, the iris too to kind of bring out a little bit more sharpness, a little bit more contrasty kind of look in there. Uh, then what you do is uh, you can kind of zoom out to see what this looks like, and it does make those eyes just go pop, but almost too much. So the coolest thing about Aperture is when you have uh, the, the brick that shows up here on the left, you can adjust the amount of sharpness that you have brushed in. So you can kind of, if you don't like it, you want to have more and really make it look like she's a raccoon, you can do that, or you can drop it back down. You can kind of see the adjustment there. So I think I'm going to leave it just a little bit there, just a little bit under. So the eyes are definitely popping. Uh, the other adjustment that I would like to do probably to this photo is to go in here and grab the, the definition brush. And what we'll do is uh, we will brush a little bit of the hair in here to bring out a little bit of detail kind of in, in, in there, because people should be looking here anyways. And then a little bit maybe along uh, some of her, her clothes here, kind of make some of these details in here pop a little bit. Same with the, the side of the shirt here and, uh, and on the pants. 
as well, just to bring a little bit more focus to this overall subject. Um, I think now we'll X out of that, and then we'll zoom back in here and check out the old complexion, see what's happening. She's got a couple of little little things there. So what we'll do is we will bring up the, uh, the retouch brush, and we'll go repair. And so we'll select our, our sample point. We'll click there, and uh, we'll click there to get rid of that guy there. And that's pretty good. Now there is some kind of jibba jabba something or other happening here on her shoulder. Uh, I don't know if it's a sunburn or, or what that is. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about it today. I probably would get rid of that if this was a real um, photo for a client or something like that. But overall, it's not too shabby. Uh, what else can we do to this photo? I think it's looking pretty good, but I like to always use uh, um, Nick software. So we'll open up one of these uh, uh, Nick software plugins for Aperture Color Effects Pro 3.0 complete. So we'll just go edit in that and we'll open it up. And I have a preset in mind that I like to try for this image to kind of uh, make make it almost like a vignette, but they have a really cool plugin here called Bright, uh, does it darken light and center? Okay, this is one of my favorite ones here. And what you do is you grab your the center of where you want the focus to be, which is of course right there, boom, right on the eyes. And you can grab the slider for border luminosity and you can just bring that down and that'll make all of the uh, background or the out of focus elements uh, decrease in, uh, in brightness. Also we'll adjust the center size down so it's just kind of more centrally located on her face. Okay. And we'll drop the border luminosity a bit more. So you get this really cool kind of more, more selective vignette happening. So there's a preview of what we've done, okay? So it's just kind of darken. I'm going to darken it even more just to get more contrast because I think that looks super cool. Okay, so there you have it, okay? That's that plugin, so we'll click Save, and that will save us uh, this file, and, uh, and then I think we'll have it. So there we go. So what I'll do is I'm going to go back. I'm going to go into full screen mode here. And here is the main raw image that we got from the website with no edits to it at all. And then there is one that we did a little bit of, uh, of editing with contrast and, uh, and sharpness and this kind of stuff. And then there is our vignette uh, thing of dark and light and center with the eye being drawn right in here. So there you go. That's our raw file edit of the week, number 21. Thanks for watching.